So this coming year's team, we've got the core of the club back. Uh, Joe Saunders, we're, we're trying to sign. Uh, Mark Reynolds is, uh, has gone on to Cleveland. But we think we have a um, good opportunity to replace him. Uh, Buck's going to give Chris Davis a chance at first base, uh, which I think will give us uh, solid power potential. People ask about the, the DH. I like Wilson Betterman against right-handed pitching. I mean, the guy's got a really good slugging percentage, and he gets on base. I like his bat against right-handed pitching. And this kid, uh, Danny Valencia, that we picked up, he should give us an opportunity to hit against left-handed pitching. He's got like a 316 lifetime batting average against lefties. So I, I think we got that covered with those two guys. Valencia, just a couple years ago, if you remember, he was with the Twins, and as a um, third baseman, he had several votes as Rookie of the Year, and he's a very good defender at third base. Uh, so I, I think his uh, defense, when he moves over to first, will, will translate well for us there. So I, I think uh, Valencia is really a good compliment to Chris Davis at first base because he's a solid defender. And Chris Davis, to me, is like an everyday player because he can hit left-handed pitching. But if we want to use another bat in the lineup, Valencia is very good against left-handed pitching. The uh, second base, we got plenty of good candidates. Uh, Brian Roberts would like to come back from his injury, so he'll get the opportunity. The uh, kid we picked up from Minnesota, Casilla. I got to tell you, this kid, Casilla, he got better range than any other second baseman in the American League according to the numbers on paper. Okay, so that means he got better range than the guy in New York, which says a lot, because they, they, the guy in New York is just a fantastic second baseman. But if you look at some of the defensive metrics on him, this guy's got better range than him. So I'm really excited about his speed, Casilla, and he's a switch hitter. If he puts together a good year, he could be a real uh, asset to the team. Then we got Hardy at shortstop. And um, let's see, who's at third base? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. We got Manny Machado, one of, one of the top young players in the, in the big leagues. Did a fantastic job. When we brought him up at third base, he really transformed our interior defense from a liability to an asset, just on the basis of his defensive play. And that uh, we brought up McLeod around that same time, and that, of course, helped us defensively in the outfield. Uh, so we got uh, Machado at third, and we'll have the benefit of having him on our ball club for the whole year. I mean, this guy's got power, he's got a great arm, great hands, and uh, we're going to enjoy watching him play uh, for, for many years here. He's just a great kid, and uh, we're so fortunate to have him. We're working on a deal to get McLeod in the outfield, Jones back, and uh, we got Nick Markagas in right. So if you followed what we did last year, we continued to improve our team every chance we got. We improved it some in spring training. We improved a little bit during the season. Um, and then we improved it when we picked up Saunders, uh, Tomey, guys we picked up during the year. So it's not like we have to do all this work to have a good, solid, competitive team because we've got a good, young, hungry team uh, with good leadership coming back. Uh, and we are going to we are going to continue to build it as it, as it goes on. I mean, everybody likes to see a big splash in the winter time, and you know, so do I. I mean, I'm, I'm not that's not lost on me. Um, but we're not really putting together our team in December. We're putting together our team for October, next October, and with the foundation of the players that we've got, I think we've got a good foundation to do again what we did this past year, primarily because we've got some pitching. And keep in mind that we still got Dylan Bundy on the horizon, okay? Number four pick, very coveted throughout the industry. I could have traded him about 15 times this past week. And the other kid to keep an eye on is this kid Kevin Gosman that we got last year from LSU, number one college pitcher in the country, We've got a great sinker and has already advanced to double A. So those two guys are on the horizon, and they're part of our plan for pitching, 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 and pitching. <laughs>